Now, while a firearm at a crime scene is a valuable piece of information, there is evidence that goes beyond the firearm that investigators need to be mindful of. A lot of times, uh, this gets a lot of attention, but let's look at some of the evidence you can get even beyond just the firearm. So first off, looking at the firearm, yes, there's make, there's models, but if we want to handle that very carefully, because fingerprints may also be found on the gun itself. They could also be found on the casings, but usable prints are rarely found uh, on the actual firearm, and too also because you may have a lot of heat developed uh, that could ruin some of those oils that are deposited. Uh, obliterated or altered uh, firearm serial numbers can sometimes be restored. So this is something else that kind of identifies the gun as being unique, that serial number. And firearms can be test fired to obtain known specimens for comparison to evidence, ammunition components such as bullets, cartridge cases, and also um, um, shot shell casings as well. So again, you have a lot of things to gain more than just the physical firearm itself. Now you also have a trigger pull examination. So what does that refer to? Well, regardless of the gun, there'll be a certain amount of pressure need to apply for that trigger. So firearms examiners can determine the general conditions of the firearm and whether the firearm is mechanically functional. The trigger pull examination can determine the amount of pressure necessary to release the hammer and firing pin the firearm. They'll measure how, much, how many pounds it takes to pull the trigger to allow the firing pin to go through and to send the bullet down the barrel. Examiners can determine whether the firearm was altered uh, to fire the full uh, automatic mode as well. So not only may some people choose to modify the actual trigger pull, they could also modify it so that one pull of the trigger will fi fire multiple rounds, as in like a full automatic weapon. We have the gauge and also manufacturer. Um, so sh the shot pellets, the buckshot, or slugs. Examiners of shot pellets, buckshot, and slugs can determine the size of the shot, the gauge of the slug, and the manufacturer by simply finding that also uh, at the crime scene through the investigative process. The wadding may also be found, and examiners of wadding components can determine the gauge and manufacturer. Remember that wadding is just simply that kind of plastic components uh, that's kind of holding kind of a bunch of small BBs or pellets together. So even though it may just be a small little plastic piece, when you find that, that can be used to kind of go back and try to determine the potential uh, gauge in manufacture um, that was used as far as propellant. Last, we have firearm accessories. So there's different ways to modify certain firearms, or people may choose to modify certain firearms. Uh, the shot pattern examiners can determine the approximate distance at which a shotgun was fired by testing specific firearm and ammunition combinations at known uh, points to between two points, how far was that shooter away? Um, how close were they? What was the distance? What was kind of, what were they using? Um, can be very important. Silencers, as we see here, attached to these. And again, it's not just your, can be used to handguns and not just your large or long rifles here. This is a cutaway, what a silencer may look like. There are attachments that can be reduce the noise of the firearm by suppressing the sound during firing. Tests can be determined whether a muzzle attachment can be classified as a silencer upon measuring the, s the sound reduction. There's also other gun parts in that can be examined to determine the caliber or model of the gun and what parts were um, originated, what modifications were made. Um, again, all these little factors come into play. They go just beyond the standard uh, shotgun manu manufacturer or handgun manufacturer, rifle manufacturer. There's a lot of other things to take in consideration. So while finding the firearm is great, a good investigator will be able to take these other factors into consideration to try to pinpoint and make matches as far as what may have actually occurred during the crime scene.